Hi guys, we're at the Coral Gables Museum for the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau's 6th Annual Miami Attractions Month kickoff party, and here with us are some of the very special guests for the evening from Jungle Island. So who do we have here? We have, this is Ramon, and Ramon is a red kangaroo. He's the largest species of the kangaroos. He's about eight months old, and he still drinks milk from his bottle. And next to you pulling your hair, right there, it's a baby capuchin, and he's, uh, that's Marlene. And that's his mom right there, and uh, she's uh, he's giving her a new hairdo. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> she um, that's that's Sparkle, and Sparkle is about a year old, and she is a beautiful young lady. You can see Sparkle and Ramon at Jungle Island. We have amazing animals there, and you can interact with each one animal in a different en enclosure. It's great, guys. It's awesome. Wonderful. And I want to get a few words from you because you are definitely <laughs> best friends with this little baby monkey. Oh, of course, yes. Tell us um, how things going now. Actually, when Ooh. she first came into the island, <laughs> um, I helped with the bottle feeding and the diaper changing. So basically, kind of helped raising her. Um, right now, she's about to be a year old, like Maricela said, and she's very active, very playful. She loves her um, fruits, bananas, apples, and grapes. And you guys can come check her out at Jungle Island. Like, and you want that type of hairdo, a unique type of hairdo, come see us. We'll get you one. There we go. Miami Attractions Month in Coral Gables and the greater Miami area offers two-for-one admission to some of Miami's greatest attractions. So be sure to check out Jungle Island especially. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Being part of Miami Attractions Month is something that's really great for the museum because we're actually hosting the brand new and official visitor center for the city of Coral Gables. It's a one-stop shop for everything that's in the area. The more we can tell people and promote other attractions in Miami, the better it is for all of us. So tonight we have some animals from Zoo Miami, from Jungle Island. We have uh, local attractions such as the Coral Gable Cinema, Fairchild Garden. So we, we're really mixing it up here tonight. There are times that we think Coral Gables gets a little lost in the conversation. A lot of people think that you know when you go downtown, you're on South Beach. We want to make sure that while the other areas are just as lovely, that they come and visit Coral Gables, our amazing restaurants, our wonderful amenities, our retail, golf, and of course places like our museum. We'll have an opportunity to obviously use a touch screen that we worked on with the city. Points of interest, we'll be able to pick up collateral material and all of the different organizations that they could come and visit. And more importantly, they have somebody live here at the museum that they can talk to. But we'd like to remind everyone that attractions continue to play a critical, critical role in the tourism industry, and this museum is a perfect example of that. Last year, more than 600,000 visitors enjoyed our city's rich heritage, natural beauty, and our many cultural offerings. Events like tonight's at our new visitor center will help our guests navigate our city and find those gems that make Coral Gable so special. I think this is a historic partnership uh, just the same as 2014 will be a historic year for Coral Gables. Not only did we pass Streetscape, but now with a visitor center here at the museum, which is in the boundaries of the bid. So that's why we're very happy to be collaborating with everybody with the city and the chamber and the Convention and Visitors Bureau. The fun continues through October 31st. For all the details and to plan your adventure, visit MiamiAttractionsMonth.com. For What's Happening Coral Gables, I'm Brianna Moles.